Hey guys, so this is just going to be a general read for the community here. I'll start the same way I always do uh, with my oracle cards and then I'll, I'll lead into my tarot cards to, um, to clarify. So universe, what messages do you have for the general community today? What insight? You got some affirmations, maybe some warnings, some guidance. What can you tell us today? Oh, there we go. Sounds like she's ready to go. Let's see what she's got for us. So we have destiny, discontent and boredom, power, transformation, and the throat chakra, um, which represents communication. Well, the transformation card is definitely... Um, definitely speaks to you going through a transition period here. Um, I believe from what I, I've got from the cards so far uh, that you are going to be taking your destiny back into your own hands, taking control of your life. Because I feel like you're in a spot where the, the discontent and boredom card is speaking to that, where you're not happy right now. I'm going to keep pulling cards and building on this. I've got Stand Your Ground, Memories of Love, conflict and defeat, victory and success, and emotional withdrawal. So I'm sensing, I'm sensing that there is a breakup that is playing a part in the way that you're feeling right now. I'm almost wondering if If you didn't sort of imagine your life was going one way and that things were one way and then when this breakup happened, it sort of made you take a closer look at how things were. It made you sort of reevaluate which way you wanted to go in life. I'm going to keep pulling cards and keep building on this read here. Ten of Wands, uh, which speaks of feeling overburdened. And I think it ties in um, with the emotional withdrawal. I think um, I think you're feeling stressed out and overwhelmed um, by the negative emotions. And maybe even Maybe even overwhelmed by the idea of how much you would have to do to be able to change your life to get it going in the direction that you want. I have the Hermit card and he speaks to me of introspection. Um, I feel like you need to take some time out for yourself and figure out what's important in life and what you want, what's important to you. Because I feel like when you choose this new path, this is going to be your destined path. I feel like that's what the destiny card speaks to. That you will be heading on a new journey of where you're supposed to go in life. Where the universe wants you to go. Where you've always been meant to go. This was just a trigger to get you going in that direction. I have the emperor card. And to me when I look at him I just see the words success. So I feel like I feel like he's going to be your end result in making this choice and moving forward in choosing this new direction. I feel like it's the way you're supposed to go and you will be successful. I also have the sun card and the world card which to me are good omens and speak of positive things manifesting in your life. I have the Seven of Wands, um, which also represents standing up for your ideals, um, sort of standing your ground. I believe it ties in with the Stand Your Ground card and the Chakra card, the Throat Chakra card. Um, 
in taking back control of your life and speaking up for yourself and what you want and deciding what you want and going out and getting it. I also have the Ace of Wands, which speaks to new beginnings. Um, and it can sometimes represent um, a new business venture as well. So the financial side of things might also be something that you're looking at changing as well. Uh, getting a, a career as opposed to a job, you know, something that's more fulfilling as opposed to just something you're putting in the time and picking up a paycheck for. Um, I also have the Seven of Pentacles, which represents an abundant harvest. And to me, it doesn't just represent the abundance from that harvest. It represents the work that you're going to have to put in to be able to achieve that abundant harvest as well. And I have Ten of Cups next to that. And it represents happiness in the home life and abundance in the home life. Um, and I feel like it ties in with the Seven of Pentacles and the Abundant Harvest as well. And you laying the groundwork for this new life. source uh, which represents uh, rest um, sort of taking care of yourself taking time out for yourself and again I think that's something that's going to be important for you um, to be able to determine exactly what you want your new path to be um, I have the two of wands which also speaks of choosing a new path or choosing a path and I have the Queen of Cups in between the two of them to me the Queen of Cups she speaks of emotional fulfillment in this read and of you choosing a path that's going to give you that emotional fulfillment, that's going to make you happier. Something you can be passionate about. I have the Knight of Swords. Uh, to me, in this read, he speaks of a personal truth. You being able to find your personal truth and it'll, it'll shed light on your path. And I think you'll get that from taking time out to rest and really do some deep thinking and some soul searching. I have the Magician card as well, and he tends to represent having all the tools that you need to be successful. And I think that you do. I think the only thing that you need to do is to be able to determine what that path is. And again, I have the Two of Swords as well, which speaks of, of having trouble making a decision, having trouble choosing, um, having trouble seeing what the right answer is, the Eight of Swords also speaks of that as well. It speaks of being um, trapped in, in negative thoughts and negative emotions like fear. And I have the Queen of Wands here. And to me, the vibe that I get from her and the way that she ties in with these cards is the universe's way of telling you that you're going to have to muster up your courage to make that decision. Because change can be scary, the unknown can be scary, um, but obviously you're not happy where you're at. So it's time to do something different. So once you decide what that different is, you're gonna have to muster up all your courage to then action that and actually do something different. I have the nine of wands. Um, to me in this read, it speaks of this being a process for you. It's not going to happen overnight. It's something you will have to work out. And I have the death card here. And the death card represents transition. Moving from, from one stage of your life to another and leaving the past behind. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be, this is like starting a new chapter of your life. And you're leaving the old behind. I have the moon here and the moon tends to represent um, things that are still hidden from you, um, things that you still have to find out. And I think those things will come when you do your soul searching. And I think they tie into to the Knight of Swords and um, personal truth. That's what I believe that that card speaks to. Um, the personal truth that you're going to have to discover about yourself, about what, what's going to make you happy as a person and make you feel fulfilled so that you can then go out there and get them. Perfect. These cards are perfect. I got the authority card. Uh, he can represent a couple different things depending on, on who he's around. In this read, I feel like he, he is also speaking to you taking back control of your life and going for what you want. Um, 
A fertility card speaks of you growing this new life, nurturing it, growing this new future for yourself. Uh, the moving on card speaks of the transition and moving on from the past. And then to me, triumph pretty well speaks for itself. I think once you get on this path, once you get on this journey, there will be no stopping you. And you will wind up in a better spot, a spot where you want to be in life that's more emotionally fulfilling. Uh, you have more happiness. You're a lot more satisfied with things. Alrighty, guys, that's what this read speaks to me of. Uh, feel free to like, to subscribe, to join our little community. Uh, and always comment because I love hearing from you guys. Take care.